Acres here, the tie guy. Today we're tying a beautiful Stefano Ricci tie. It's a brand new tie to me. Got a couple weeks ago, finally getting a tie up. I uh, love Stefano Ricci. I mean, one of the, them and Brioni are probably two of the best filling ties I've ever tied, just from the actual fill. Uh, very, very, very good quality tie. This particular one is black with pink, uh, it's like pink tulips on it, um, with uh, white stems and blue petals. So I've tried to match the color of the blue and the petals with my shirt. So I'm going with the same color blue as that. It's a new Eaton shirt I just got in as well. So uh, today we're going to have some fun with some new clothes. I love new clothes, especially new ties. So anyway, Stefano Ricci just has a super plush super soft feel. I mean, you just want to like rub it on you. I better be careful with my aftershave, but I don't want to ruin my tie. But uh, the silk lies perfect. I mean, just absolutely perfect. Feels amazing. I honestly, and I don't play favorites, but I don't know that there's a better feeling tie just from the touch uh, than Stefano Ricci. Um, now, you pay for that because they're obviously very expensive ties, but very, very nice feel. Uh, it's a pretty thick tie. You know, I would say a medium thick to a thick. It's right in that range. And it has a nice width to it. Pretty classic size. Let's tie this baby up see how it comes together. Get my color up. Okay. Because uh, Stefano Ricci's uh, ties are very plush, we've got to leave a little extra room on the longer part of the tie, you know, to, uh, to make a, the proper knot. So we're going to go all the way down to here on this. I'm going to give myself a lot of room there. Nice thing about them is they, they, they make a long tie, so I'm still good. I'm still below my pectoral muscle here on the short side, which gives me plenty of room to tie and put it in the keeper. Uh, we take the long part of the tie. We put it over top of the short part like this, crisscross, underneath and through. Then we come around behind keeping everything nice and tight. I teach people that the secret to tying a perfect Windsor knot is keeping the knot tight throughout. Then we just kind of adjust the checkpoint, make sure everything's coming together nice. Then we come out over the front, keeping it tight behind and through. And then we're going to push it down through that little pocket we just created. Hold the top of the pocket, pull the tie down through. Now pull the edges down to the side, hold on to the knot, pull the long part of the tie to bring our triangle together. Then hold the knot, pull the short part of the tie to bring it up to our neck. And we want to check for length. We want the tip of the tie, that's this part here, to be between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. And we missed it. Look how short I am. It's like a clown type uh, tie there. So that means we're going to retie it because I don't have enough room in my knot to bring that out. Again, brand new tie. It's pretty thick. I wasn't sure about how long to make it. So I'm going to tie it again, but I'm going to tie it a little quicker this time since I just went through the steps with you. And you'll see, uh, you know, we're just going to go ahead and drop it all the way down here now. You're going to see, you know, how fast we can tie it so it'll make it a little bit better. So. Up and through, round up and over. Got our checkpoint, make sure it's all good. Then we go around the front, up behind. Caught all of my buttons there. And then down through the pocket. Still keeping everything tidy, I'm tying it faster. Put the edges down, tighten the knot. Let's bring it up to our neck and let's see where we ended up. And this one may be a little bit too long. Look at that. You know what we're getting ready to do? We're getting ready to tie for the third time. That's it. That's the So far, it's the record for my ties. It's three times. So if you're laughing at home watching this video, I'm okay with that. I'm a perfectionist. I want my tie to absolutely be perfect. So up and through, around behind, up and over. Checkpoint over the top. These ties are so malleable. The silk is so soft that uh, sometimes it's just hard to get it perfect. Turn it down, tighten the knot, bring it up. Now let's check it. Absolutely perfect. Boom! Should have known it the first time, but I didn't. Ties are unpredictable, especially when you're going between brands like I do. I wear a lot of different ties, a lot of different textures, a lot of different thicknesses. Let's tidy everything up here. We don't want any gap right here, so we're going to bring this up, make it symmetrical, absolutely beautiful what a beautiful tie a little bit flashy for me but I, I really like it okay we're going to tuck this uh, the back into the keeper the strap in the back here absolutely perfect the looks gonna start scrolling across the bottom of the screen I'm gonna go through it with you right now today we're wearing a navy blue with pinstripes um, a Myrna Gilla Zinnia suit this is one of their uh, Sue Missouri, which is a uh, custom-made suit, uh, so it's just fit to me. Um, they do a good job with that. Let me tie this tie up. I apologize, guys. 
I just don't like it being all crooked. I'll have to get in the mirror here in a little bit before I take my selfies for Instagram. But anyway, okay, we got a navy blue Amarna Gildozinia suit. We have a light blue Eaton shirt, has a lot of nice texture to it. And we have on a black with pink, blue, and white uh, Stefano Ritchie tie. Very nice looking tie, very soft tie. Pair that day with a brown Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a silver belt buckle and a pair of brown, light brown uh, Salvatore Ferragamo uh, Oxfords. So that's the look for the day. If you want to check out my Instagram, it's tie guy James Akers. On my Instagram, you'll see close ups of the tie, the shirt, the labels of everything, the shoes, the belt, selfies of me wearing it, this outfit, as well as close ups of the knot. So check out my Instagram, tie guy James Akers. Guys, thanks for watching. I am ready for work.